What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and welcome to my Top 10 Tweaks Part 13 video. So I've been amazed actually how well developers have been doing with this latest iOS 8 jailbreak. They've come out with so many new tweaks and it's been quite incredible. So I've been trying to group them into these videos for you guys. I can't include them all in one video. So this is my Part 13 video. Now unfortunately, there won't be much more of these because developers just aren't making as much tweaks anymore now that the jailbreak is not current. iOS 8.1.3, as you know, did take away the ability to jailbreak. So tweaks aren't really coming out as fast as they used to. And it's kind of unfortunate However, iOS 8.2, as you guys know, will be able to be jailbroken. In my previous video, iOS 8.1.3 and 8.2 jailbreak update, I did talk about the new jailbreak. And if you guys want to hear about it, you can click there. Otherwise, in this video, I will be showing you guys 10 brand new tweaks. And you guys can find all of the links, sources, and the wallpaper I'm using in this video in this link right here on my website. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out these new tweaks. There's actually some really nice ones in here, and I do hope you guys enjoy them. And there's one more thing, guys. This is very urgent. Be very, very careful what you guys install on your devices because now we're in survival mode. If we restore, we no longer have access to a jailbreak. And recently, a user on Reddit created a tweak that can permanently disable your device. He distributed this on Cydia as a proof of concept, but you never know. Some people can take that, implement it into a tweak as a troll or a prank, and then your device is permanently bricked. So I warn you guys, only install tweaks from trusted developers. Make sure not to install shady sources, stuff like that. Only things that are recommended. Otherwise, you can end up with a non-jailbroken or completely non-functional device. So pretty much be careful, guys. Now, the very first tweak is Barry CA. Now, this is a Jellylock 7 successor. As you guys can see right here, I've got some toggles set up and Jellylock 7 was pretty much an Android lock screen replacement for iOS. It was really cool because it brought it over from Android onto iOS and now we have this. So it features a grabber, which you can select out of five icons on the first page. You can change that to however many you want. Just have it set up to five right now. And these are shortcuts to applications which you can directly open from the lock screen. So let's say I wanna go into settings, just drag that down here and it has this really cool looking string animation and it opens up setting and boom, you're in. So really cool. Now, I personally don't think it looks as good as Jelly Lock 7, but it is very functional. You can set a lot of applications on here. You can even have two pages of them. If one doesn't fit your needs, you can change the size. And let me just go ahead and show you the settings for them. So here in Barry C7, you can set app shortcuts. Uh, as you can see, you can have up to 12 and you can have several pages of them. You can choose the size of them. Let me make it smaller. Uh, right here, too small. You do have to respring every single time you do make changes. It's one of the things I don't like about this tweak, but it is free. It's a Jelly Lock 7 replacement, and I think it's great for your lock screen, as you can see right there. So, super cool, guys. You know, Jelly Lock 7 replacement, Barry C8. Definitely check it out. Now, here's DATH Messages. It's like Message Customizer. However, it's got a little bit more versatility. And let me just show you inside of Messages. As you can see, you can set a custom wallpaper and change the text, change the way it appears, change the link colors. There's a lot you can modify in here and it can make your messages look completely different. So I've got this wallpaper set up right now. I have the bubbles removed and the colors are slightly altered. I think it's really neat. Now, depending on which wallpaper you have, it can either enhance or detract from the experience. You don't want to take something that's super bright or super dark and it'll hide the letters, but you can change the colors accordingly. And inside of the actual tweak, which is a separate application on your home screen, you can change a lot in here. So you wanna click on customize and in here you can actually choose from a wallpaper, colors, from every aspect of the messages application. It's quite extensive and with some simple tweaking, you can enter either some preset colors or hex codes you can get a really nice looking message application. So I definitely would recommend it. Check it out, play around with the settings, see if you can get some nice looking settings for messages, you won't be disappointed. Now another really cool one is called Keyboard Vibrate 8. Can you guys guess what that might be? Well, it's pretty much haptic feedback for iOS 8, a feature that's pretty much standard on most Android phones. Apple is kind of lacking there. Some people do like to have some feedback when typing and Keyboard Vibrate 8 brings haptic feedback, very responsive and very nice to iOS 8. So I know you guys can't feel it. However, when I type, I get this nice little response. The vibrate motor does spin a little bit and it's perfect because it feels like I'm actually pressing a button. It's absolutely free and I definitely recommend you guys try this one out. It's called Keyboard Vibrate A, available in the Cydia App Store. Now here's a little tiny tweak that adds a vast amount of functionality to iOS. So inside of photos, you know, sometimes you get disoriented. It only shows you the dates for clumps of photos, not individual ones. Well, if you wanna see when an individual photo was taken using photo timestamp, you can actually see that as you can see right here. Now you can modify the way this looks, it can change and it shows you 
the date the photo was taken, the exact time. It's actually really useful. So in the actual settings, you can change quite a bit in here. You can change the transparency of that little banner. You can change the text color and the alignment on the photo, the size, the stamp height, the actual font. So it does get a little extensive, but it is a very simple function that you can customize a lot. Pretty much show you timestamps on your photos, exact date, exact time when the photo was taken. Now here's Insta Launcher. It's a really quick way to go from application to application without having to actually search through your home screen, especially if you have a lot of icons. And here's how it works. So you do have to set an activator gesture for it. Mine is set to a double tap and it opens up this little grid. So just scrolling through it like that will show you all of your applications. And let's say I need to go into phone. So I scroll to P and you click on the phone real quick and boom, I'm in. So I don't know if it actually changes the animation speed. It feels like it does. It makes it a little bit faster, but you can actually set favorites right here. So I've got four, you know, quickly go to Cydia, wherever you may be. Now I've just got it set to the home screen, but you can do it from within applications as well. Recents are displayed up here. You know, just a really cool interface to quickly go from application to application. Now here's Equalizer Everywhere. It adds an equalizer for your music inside of the actual control center. So say you're playing around with music and you like to tweak the audio quality, audio settings of your music. You can just slide over inside of the control center and it'll display the equalizer. So in here, I honestly do not know anything about these settings, but if you're musically inclined, you can change a lot of of them in here and if you like to play music at parties or gatherings you can change the music the settings for it to suit the mood and it's really cool how this is implemented right into the control center just slide over and of course there are a few more settings inside of the tweak settings so you can set some presets in here choose to show in the control center there's quite a few settings in here i will be honest with you guys i'm not very musically inclined so i don't really understand all the settings but if you are this is a really cool tweak now here's a really neat one it's called faded it's one of those really tiny any city of tweaks, but it makes a difference. So whenever pausing or flipping through music, it's quite sudden how the music just stops and the next one starts playing. Well, Faded does exactly what the name suggests. It fades the music in and out. So for example, I'm just gonna play this guy and it fades the music in. When you pause it, phase the music out. So it's not so sudden. It actually really makes sense. I wish Apple would put this into iOS. I just don't like how sudden it is when you pause the music and it just stops right away. It's really cool how it just fades out. Definitely recommend it. It's called Faded, absolutely free. Now, if you guys wanna add a little bit extra security to your device, but you don't have a Touch ID sensor and you wish you had BioProtect, well, App Locker does exactly what BioProtect does, however, without the need for a Touch ID sensor. For example, as you guys can see right there, it does lock an individual application to a password. Instead of needing a face to unlock it with Apple Locker or BioProtect for your finger, this is just a password for individual applications. We're just gonna type mine in like that and boom, it launches. Add an extra layer of security to your applications. Now here's Centrum. Centrum is a direct port of the notifications menu on OS 10 to iOS 8. So if you guys have ever used a MacBook, if you know, if you slide left on the touchpad, it'll open up the notifications. And just like that, it's been ported to iOS 8. So you just slide left from the edge of the display and it'll open up the notifications, which are exactly like the OS 10 ones. So you have two categories right here, and it's very similar to your stock notifications menu. Just, you know, you activate it from the left and it seems to fit in very well. You can't activate it by sliding down anymore. I don't know if that was obtrusive to you guys or if you prefer this, but it's a really neat replacement to the stock notifications on OS 10. Now here's Alarmy. Alarmy is actually really useful and I would use it in conjunction with PM really. It actually adds a notification to your log screen, you know, right next to the calendar, which will tell you if you have a current alarm set, what time it's set at, you know, what date, really useful. Now I have mine set to about 19 minutes from now and it's really cool because it'll let me know in advance if I do have an alarm set. Now I could see myself getting used to that and if I don't see that there, I'll be like, oh wait, why didn't I set an alarm? And it's really cool because it'll tell you when it's gonna be. Now you just activate it by setting an alarm and it'll tell you when those alarms are. Now the way it works is it will display the soonest one. So if you guys have any ones after that, it won't actually show those. Alarmy does have a few settings, nothing too extensive. However, it's a nice way to display the alarm. So you're always updated as to the status of your current alarm situation. Definitely would recommend Alarmy for iOS 8. And guys, there you go. That's my next top 10 tweaks part 13 video. Unfortunately, there will be less 
of these videos, not because I don't want to make them, because developers just won't be making as many new tweaks now that the jailbreak is no longer supported on the newest version. However, all the ones that will be coming out, of course, I will be keeping you guys updated. Uh, just won't be as many videos as there have been before. Now, I do have some extra tweaks that I couldn't include in this video. If you guys want to check those out, as well as the full tweak list, all the sources and the wallpaper I'm using this video, click on the link right there. It will take you to my website and you can see the bonus tweaks there. Otherwise, guys, enjoy these tweaks. Enjoy all the cool things you can do with your device. And I have plenty of other videos on my channel if you've missed out on some previous videos from this series. So anyways, guys, enjoy the tweaks. Have a great day. Peace.